Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Friday Night Young at Heart, featuring nursery rhymes, stories, songs, poems, Mother Goose, Aesop's Fables, Lewis Carroll, Limerick's Larks, epic stories of the great operas, and such. To keep us all young at heart, I'm Father James DeLucio, and this is Friday Night Young at Heart on Saturday. Yesterday was too full, and for the life of me, I haven't been able to pre-record these in advance to put them up for you, so my apologies. Also, my apologies for my appearance. I had this bump lump on my face and had to go to the dermatologist, uh, so they uh, put nitrogen on it, and so they said it's going to look worse until it gets better. So here we are, sorry to have to put you up with that, but I didn't want to have another day go by before we continued with The Adventures of Pinocchio by Carlo Collodi. This is chapter nine. And uh, please in the comments, I'd like to know, have any of you read this whole original version? Are you only familiar with the Disney version? Are you only familiar with um, short abridged versions or this wonderful movie by Guillermo del Torno on Netflix. I don't know. Let me know. Okay, so you remember what happened last week? It seems so long ago. We had uh, Pinocchio wants to go to school. Geppetto has sold his coat so Pinocchio can get a school book. Um, and then it's going to be the next day at school. Pino uh, Geppetto has made him a little coat made of flower paper and uh, such. So chapter nine begins, Pinocchio tr walks off to school with all the energy and the swing of his arms and the clanking of his feet. He's got some wooden shoes and he's all so happy and he's fantasizing of all the things he's going to do once he becomes learned. He'll be wise and he'll make a lot of money and he can get Geppetto a, a brand new coat and a coat for himself and uh, a better house, stop the house from leaking and all these wonderful things he's going to do. And as he's getting nearer to the school, he hears the sound of music, trumpets and flutes and so many things. And he's like, hmm, what is this? So he goes towards the music and he sees this big tent and a sign. But he hasn't been to school. He can't read the sign. So... He asks one of the other kids who were there, what does this sign say? What is this? Dummy, can't you read? And he thinks for a second quite guiltily, well, I should be in school so I can go and read, but his curiosity gets the best of him. Poor Pinocchio. It's a great puppet show. A puppet show, says Pinocchio. Well, up till now, he thought he was the only puppet. Now, of course, he's the only living puppet, but he's not the only puppet, correct? So, oh, he so would like to go. Oh, um, you have to have four coins to go, says this one boy. Oh, said Pinocchio. That he knows he does not have. So he says, well, can I sell you my flower paper jacket? Well, who wants a flower a jacket made out of flower paper? said the child. How about if I give you my wooden shoes? Well, it's not good for me. It's only good for for firewood. We don't need firewood in my house. Well, how about... You guessed it. My spelling book? Would you like that? What would I need for a spelling book? I have my own. I go to school. But I'm not going to school today because I'm playing hooky. Pinocchio's despondent is just about ready to go off to school, as he should. But um, another kid heard this conversation and said, I need a spelling book. Give it to me. Here's your coins. And so, for a second, Pinocchio felt a pang of guilt. His father had sold his only coat to get him this spelling book. And all his dreams of going to school, well, I'll go tomorrow said Pinocchio, and he sells the, his spelling book for the four coins, and he jauntily goes off to the puppet show. And we might know, depending on other versions of Pinocchio that you've seen, we might know what's going to happen there. Or not. 
Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, hopefully next week I'll be on Friday night. Hope you enjoy this. Please put in the commentaries how familiar are you with the original uh, version of Pinocchio by Kuladi. Thanks so much. Have a, hope you're having a wonderful weekend. Goodbye now. And there we go.